900 for Hillary Clinton. Six percent of the precincts, though, only six percent. So uh, we're taking a closer look at Alabama. New Jersey. Let's look at New Jersey because this is an important state uh, coming up for the Democrats. Only uh, one percent of the precincts have reported uh, Hillary Clinton with 58 percent to Barack Obama, 37 percent. She really needs this state. Uh, 8,600 votes so far for her to 5,400 for Obama. Right next door to New York State, uh, she had a lot of the party establishment uh, and, and, and working for her there. Let's take a look at some of the Republican states right now. We'll start off with Tennessee. Three percent of the precincts have reported. McCain with 35 percent. Huckabee 25 percent. Romney 22 percent. Uh, only three percent, though, of the precincts have reported. 13,300 for McCain, 9,500 for Huckabee, 8,300 for Romney, Ron Paul with 2,046 in Tennessee. Let's take a look at uh, Oklahoma. Do we have Oklahoma? Yes, we do. Uh, John McCain uh, winning so far. 39% uh, to Huckabee's 31%, Romney's 23%, but this only 4% of the precincts are in in Oklahoma. Alabama, 6% of the precincts are in. Very close race, race so far. McCain 39%, Huckabee 38%, Romney 18%. Uh, you're, you're seeing Alabama with 6% of the precincts in. McCain has 8,300 votes, the Huckabee's 8,100, and Romney 3,700 uh, or so votes. Uh, in Missouri, uh, a really important state uh, uh, out there, uh, winner take all uh, in Missouri. McCain right now with 1% of the precincts in 34% to Romney's 26%, Mike Huckabee's 24%. And if you take a look at the real numbers, this is very, very early and clearly will change as this night goes on, Missouri being a critical state, though. In uh, Georgia, for the Republican side, we haven't been able to project the winner. We see a three-man race underway with 22% of the precincts now reporting. Huckabee maintaining a slight advantage, 34% to McCain's 32% to Romney's 30%. Uh, 71,700 for Huckabee to 65,759 for McCain. Romney, 61,781. Ron Paul with 5,600 right now. Georgia is uh, shaping up as a really, really close contest for these Republicans. Let's go over to uh, John King. He's going to have a closer look at Georgia for us right now. Uh, show us what's happening based on the uh, precincts that have reported, what, about a quarter of the precincts are now in, John? That's right. Well, for up to about 23 percent of the vote counted, and you see a very, very, very close contest. 34 percent for Governor Huckabee, 32 percent for Senator McCain, 30 percent for Governor Romney. This is something we have not seen in a while, not since out in Iowa. The peach is Mike Huckabee. He's doing very well, as you see these counties come in. He's doing very well up there. The brighter red is McCain. He's doing very well, too. You would look at this map, and you would say, wow, Governor Romney's in trouble. He's only winning in a few places. But you win by winning where the votes are. And, Wolf, this 25% of the population of Georgia lives right here. And that is where Governor Romney is picking up counties. Now, the question is, if he continues this trend in the area around Atlanta, let's look at DeKalb County, 8% of the state's population. Governor Romney is carrying the county right now, but only 5% in. And look, it's very narrow margin, just a little bit here over Senator McCain. So let's go next door. Another county that Governor Romney is winning, and he needs Georgia. His comeback strategy counts on Georgia. 72% of the population here in Gwinnett County. Again, he's winning it. Narrow margins over Huckabee and McCain in third place in that county. Let's come over here a little bit to the west of Atlanta. Cobb County, a little over 7% of the state population. Romney with a bigger lead here, almost 10 points over, 8 points over McCain, 10 points over Huckabee. He ha if, if you look at this map, you would say, wow, it's a Huckabee state or a McCain state. But Governor Romney can win it if he wins here. For the population is, again, 25% of the state population is right there, but he needs bigger margins in those counties probably than what he's getting right now. If so if you're the Romney camp, you're waiting for Fulton County to come in, these other counties right around Atlanta. But this shows you, Wolf, what we're looking at tonight. I'm going to clear this out so you can look at it again. In a close three-way race all up and down Georgia, and we will look for the same thing when we get to Missouri, you have these candidates fighting it out. Culturally conservative areas here and here, McCain doing well here. You have some military installations down along the coast, much like we saw up in South Carolina. McCain and Romney splitting so far here. The key to the state is going to be these counties right here where you find the suburban Republicans. Again, Governor Romney, even though throughout the state it is Huckabee and McCain racking up the counties, Romney so far is holding his own and actually winning narrowly in the counties where most of the people are. So if he can continue that trend, it could come down to a question of is his, are his margins over Huckabee and McCain in these populous counties enough to offset clearly McCain and Huckabee advantages just about everywhere else in the state, Wolf.
John King, thanks very much. We can project another uh, win for John McCain right now in Delaware. 18 delegates at stake. It's a winner take all. It's a winner take all contest in the state of Delaware. And CNN is projecting that John McCain will carry Delaware. There was a fight underway in that state. Uh, McCain was expected to do well with a large number of moderate Republicans in Delaware. But there was a serious fight there. John McCain, though, we can now project will win. And uh, as I said, this is a winner take all state in Delaware. So John McCain picks up another win uh, in uh, Delaware right now. Uh, we're standing by. Many more polls are closing at the top of the hour, less than 15 minutes from now, about 14 minutes or so, uh, 13 and a half minutes to be exact. Uh, polls closing in those states, you see them right there, seven of them. Let's see if we can make some projections at the top of the hour. Stay with us. Stay with CNNPolitics.com for incoming information. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Under 10 minutes now till the top of the hour. Polls will be closing in those seven states. Arizona, Colorado, a Democratic caucus in Kansas, Minnesota, a Democratic primary in New Mexico, in New York, and North Dakota. Uh, at the top of the hour, uh, we'll be watching to see if we can project any winners in those states. Uh, let's take a look at uh, uh, some of the wins so far on this day that we have projected right now. And uh, we can take a look at the Hillary Clinton wins, first of all. So far, we've projected that Hillary Clinton uh, will win uh, in uh, Oklahoma, in uh, Tennessee, and in uh, her home state, arguably, at least some people would argue, of Arkansas, even though she was born and raised in Illinois. She spent a lot of time as the First Lady of Arkansas. She now represents New York State uh, in the United States Senate. Uh, those are the three wins for Hillary Clinton we've projected so far tonight. On the uh, Obama wins on this Super Tuesday, so far we've projected that he will carry uh, Georgia as well as his home state of Illinois. Uh, that's what's happened so far today. We're watching all of this very, very closely. Now let's take a look at the Republicans so far on this day. Who's won what uh, so far? We'll start off with uh, Mitt Romney over here. So far we've projected that Mitt Romney will carry his home state of uh, Massachusetts, and that's uh, the sole projected win so far for Romney today. John McCain has uh, a few more wins. We've projected he will carry uh, Massachusetts, New Jersey, Delaware, as well as Illinois. Uh, four states. Uh, excuse me, Connecticut, I'm sorry. Uh, let me repeat. Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, and Illinois uh, projected wins for John McCain. Uh, Mike Huckabee, earlier in the day uh, at the uh, Republican convention in West Virginia, uh, we projected uh, his win there. He actually did win. That's no longer a projection. And uh, we project he will carry his home state of Arkansas. He was governor there for more than 10 years. Uh, those are the wins so far on this Super Tuesday. Uh, let's uh, see what's happening online right now. Abby Tatton is standing by. She's watching uh, this situation unfold. And the online activity, Abby, is enormous. Well, if this is at CNNPolitics.com, where as we're getting the information, it's being updated here as well. I'm going to scroll down to the main page here that's showing you race by race, what state by state, what is coming in right now, the states that have already been projected by CNN and the ones about to close in just a few minutes. You're going to see these pages update when we go to them and you're also going to look at these pages here for the delegate counts, this being updated all the time as the results come in. But of course we've got a couple of hours for some of the polls out there. CNN.com live has cameras around the country. Take a look at this picture here. This is a polling station in Los Angeles. Still got a couple of hours to go there. Wolf. Abby, thanks very much. Uh, six minutes and 50 seconds to go until the polls close in these seven states. Uh, we're going to be watching New York State very closely because that's a bonanza, a potential bonanza of delegates. But we'll watch all of these states. Uh, their their poll, polls close in uh, six and a half minutes or so. We're standing by here at the CNN Election Center. Much more of our coverage right after this.
was about three minutes ago before the top of the hour. Just a quick reset. We are here in uh, Election Center. Campbell Brown, our newest uh, member of the best political team on television, new anchor of our 8 o'clock show, is monitoring developments from the field tonight. Bill Schneider and Soldat O'Brien are watching the exit polls, crunching the numbers for us. Will Blitzer, of course, is covering all the action, and we're here with the best political team, David Gergen, uh, Jeffrey Tubin, Gloria Borger, and the back bench, a deep back bench. Uh, <laughs> here we got Bill Bennett. Bill Bennett. No, no, no second class in the back bench. Roland Martin, uh, Jamal Simmons, and Paul Begala. Paul Begala, you are a, a, a Hillary Clinton supporter. Uh -huh. What gives you hope for Hillary Clinton, and what makes you worried about her tonight? Well, I, earlier this evening, I said that there was just no good news out of Georgia for Hillary, because there's not. A lot of good news in Tennessee. She won the John Edwards vote in Tennessee. In fact, if I was a Barack Obama supporter, I'd be very concerned. Barack did 24% of the white vote in South Carolina, 24% in Tennessee. No growth. Hillary but moved her growth, white but vote. But huge growth in Georgia for Barack Obama. Yes, he campaigned hard there. Didn't campaign hard enough, apparently, in Tennessee. Now, he spent about $300,000. He had a presence there. He had some ads on them, pulled them down. But he's got to be concerned. Now, Hillary moved 27 points among white voters in Tennessee. I think it's because she focused on the economy. She had a town hall meeting focused on the economy instead of all the issues in the world. 3,500 people showed up in Nashville. Democrat strategist Jamal Simmons, you're an Obama supporter. Your thoughts? I'll give you one caveat on Tennessee. What happened in Memphis today, but there were tornadoes in Memphis today. So what you saw was only 18% of the vote came out of the Memphis area. Barack Obama was winning there about 67 to 25. So the Memphis vote didn't actually show up. And there are a big chunk of Democrats there in Shelby County. So I don't think Obama would have won it because he didn't campaign very hard. But that number might have been a little bit closer. Anderson, women. Women made up 59% of all voters in Tennessee. Uh, white women made up 40% of that electorate. And so she won 72%. She did very well among the, no other group dominated in that category, but also among young voters. She won four out of six age categories in Tennessee. She hasn't done that in many other states. I think that's also was key. But again, white women, they put her over the top in Tennessee. Simple as that. About one minute to projections. Bill Bennett, your thoughts? Uh, I know nothing about Democrats in Tennessee. Well, talk to me about John McCain. Uh, you, well, for John McCain from Mitt Romney, the good news yeah, about he's, him is. He's, he's, I think uh, McCain's on course, but still the two crucial states before California, at least I think crucial, Georgia and Missouri. And so as John King was talking about the Atlanta suburbs, they come in strongly for Romney. That's a big deal, and Missouri, we're waiting to see. Big uh, stuff. John, John King um, earlier, you said, oh, well, actually, John King said the bid board. Let's right now go back to Wolf with some, uh, going to have some projections soon. Uh, coming up right at the top of the hour, Anderson, uh, we're taking a look at some polls that are closing in seven states, Arizona, Colorado, Kansas, Minnesota, New Mexico, New York, North Dakota. You see the D at the, uh, behind Kansas, New Mexico, and North Dakota. Those are Democratic contests only in those three states. The other states, Arizona, Colorado, Minnesota, and New York, have both Democratic and Republican caucuses. Uh, we're ready to get to the top of the hour. CNN projects uh, that Hillary Clinton will carry her home state of New York. Hillary Clinton carrying New York State. Uh, a, a lot of delegates at stake in New York. But remember, uh, she carries the state, but those delegates will be distributed according to congressional districts. Proportionately doesn't necessarily mean she'll get all of those delegates. Uh, 281 delegates are up for grabs uh, in New York State. Uh, and there you can see Hillary Clinton headquarters right here in Manhattan. Uh, they're celebrating that uh, she has carried New York State. She's represented New York State since she was elected in the Senate and then re-elected to the United States Senate. Uh, Barack Obama uh, hadn't been making so some inroads in New York State, uh, but Hillary Clinton manages to hold on. We project she will carry her home state of New York, just as she carried her other home state of Arkansas uh, within the, the uh, half hour, within the earlier half hour. Hillary Clinton needed New York. It would have been hugely, hugely embarrassing for her if she had lost New York State, uh, just as Barack Obama carried his home state of Illinois. In the last hour, Hillary Clinton carries New York State right now, and we'll see how those delegates are distributed over the course of the next few hours. Another win for Hillary Clinton in, uh, in New York State right now. Uh, we cannot we cannot make other projections in these states uh, based on the exit polling information that we've received in the course of this day, meaning we can't make any projections.